Wonder what happened with the sprites models? Uh, nothing. Nothing happened. They're totally fine. Hello, 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 Alright, so why am I here? Why did I come all the way to Foroma Town? Oh, was it to lather a tree and then I just didn't play for two weeks? Yeah, that's probably why. Yo, I heard a new Legends Arceus trailer came out today. I didn't watch it though. Anybody see that? No, nobody saw it. Yeah, I don't know why. I just, I just don't watch trailers for games I'm gonna play. I, like, there's no reason. I just don't. Like, obviously I want the game. I'm excited for it. I just, I just saw that a trailer came out. And I just did not care to click on it. Oh, do I catch this? I'm trying to think of ideas for Legends. I, I, I misread that and thought you said League of Legends. Honestly, I have no, I have no plans for um, Legends of Arceus. Granted, I had no plans for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and I made like two videos on it. So there's that. And in, in the two years that Sword and Shield were the newest games, I made like two videos on them. So <laughs> yeah, like the thing is with like new game hype and stuff is like, it, it'll be up there for like a week or two. Like if you don't make that many videos of the new games, it's, it's fine. Like I remember I, the day that Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl came out, John just uploaded like a random Pokemon video of like an older game and it still did really well. The day, the day Brilliant Diamond came out. Actually, did John upload any videos on Brilliant Diamond? I'm going to check right now because I honestly don't think he did because John is just that based. It's like new Pokemon game, I sleep. You watch my, my videos anyway because I'm John, aka Pokemon. Yeah, chat, he's made one video on, oh sorry, two videos on Brilliant Diamond. He's made more videos not about Brilliant Diamond since Brilliant Diamond came out. It's pretty based. Machad, Machode. You guys got bad nicknames. Come on now. Maybe I'm the one with bad nicknames though. Lloyd. You guys remember that show Lloyd in Space on Disney Channel? With like the alien? You have to do virtual school. I, I've never had to do that. But I took online classes. And I remember one time I took an online class and I went on vacation. And I was on vacation for the first day of the online class. And I did it from my phone. But granted, the online class that I did, it was different. Like it's not like you have to like like be on camera at a certain time. It's just like, hey, read this by this date and then answer these questions by this date. I remember when Bonsai first got revealed. Wait, maybe it's Munchlax I'm thinking of, but one of them was in Pokemon XD Gala Darkness. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Like you literally just saw it running around and that's it. Like it didn't do anything. Yo, don't I get a egg here? Or was that just in platinum? You know what I don't understand? How come I have to? Why? Okay. So when I caught that Machop, it gave me the option to add the Machop to my party and put something else in my party in the PC. How come I can't do the same thing for the egg? Why can't I just put something in the PC? What's up with that, Nintendo? Yo, remember the game Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg? The game was sick. Sega's really good at just making random games that are good, and then are like, you know what, instead of making sequels to this, let's make a bad Sonic game. And then they're like, you know what? Let's make another bad Sonic game. And the good Sonic game was the first one. Okay, that, that's like a boomer take right there. Come on now. Sonic 2 was good. I have Sonic 2. Can you see it? You can't see it. It's over there though. And I also have Sonic 1 and a Mega Man game I got ripped off on. It's a story for another day. For the Genesis. Anyway, we got an egg. Egg PNG. Yo, don't you hate it when you Google a PNG and you get everything but a PNG? Oh my god, this is the worst. This is an imposter PNG. I'm just gonna leave it. This is our egg. I, I, Sonic 3 was one of the first Sonic games I played. Sonic 3 and Sonic CD and Sonic R. And I thought I was really bad at Sonic R because I just couldn't like move in the game. Uh, but it turns out that Sonic R just has terrible controls. So it wasn't just me. There's nobody can move in that game. This will represent our egg. Fired after doing a robbery attempt to call... What? They got Justin Relax's Pokemon Go? Wait, did you just quote a real article or are you just memeing right now? Like, I thought you were making a joke, and then I started reading it, and I was like, wait, what? You know what's weird? I got an email today about Pokemon Go, and it was marked as spam. They were like, hey, we make a website about Pokemon Go and want to sponsor you for a video. And I was like, I don't play Pokemon Go. New article that just came out. There's no way. That's like, that, I would believe that if it was 2016. Ignore robbery in process to catch Snorlax in Pokemon Go. Bro, is Snorlax even rare in Pokemon Go? Don't they have like gen eight Pokemon now? Like, can't you get like Calyrex and stuff? Wait, can I? Oh, I have a rival battle. I realized that the second I took that step forward. Oh, you know what I just realized? It would have been so fun if I streamed the other day when Pokemon got banned. Because it made my character Pokemon. You know what's funny about that? Like, I feel like she definitely knew she was going to get banned. If you don't know, she streamed herself watching Avatar The Last Airbender and then got banned. Because like, it's, you know, copyrighted TV show that you're watching on stream in front of thousands of people. Understandable that, uh, you know, you'd get banned temporarily. And I saw people like ridiculing her and then they would post their next YouTube video, which was 
a reaction to an anime episode. Which is literally what Pokemon got banned for on Twitch. And I just didn't understand it. Like, I, I just took it as one of those things. It was like, you know what? It's just one of those things they don't understand. I'm just gonna let it go. But now I'm, I'm asking the question of like, am I the one not understanding it? Because like, I imagine if you get banned for that stuff on Twitch, you could also get banned for that stuff on YouTube, right? Granted, I guess with YouTube, you could edit it. So that way it's not... Like, I don't know who owns the rights of like anime. I know there's like multiple anime studios, but I'm saying like, like for example, Avatar was Viacom, which is the parent company, which is like CBS and Nickelodeon and all that. It's understandable that they're a huge company that would, you know, take action with this copyright stuff. But like, if you uploaded the same thing to YouTube, but just edit it for an anime, can't the owners of the anime just be like, nope, slap. That's what I don't understand. Toei, that's, that's a good example. Yes, Toei. They do own a lot of anime. Japan doesn't have fair use clauses. Clauses, really? Which is ironic to the existence of duo, duojin. Do I want to Google that? I want to Google that. Uh, Duojin is a Japanese term for a group of people who share an interest, activity, or hobby. It is sometimes translated to English as a click. Twitch is a lot more strict, though. See, I don't think it's necessarily that Twitch is more strict. I think it's that with Twitch, it's live and you can't edit it. So, like, if you were to react to an anime episode on Twitch, you would have to play the full anime episode. And your face can be blocking some of it, maybe. But you can't, like, do any of those tricks that people do to get around copyright on YouTube. Like, on YouTube, people might... They might lower the opacity, so that way it's slightly transparent, and then put, like, a, a blue blank image behind it so that it's tinted blue. They might speed it up. They might uh, distort it somehow, distort the audio to get around that. But the thing is, like, if they catch wind of it, they could still take that down. It just makes it harder to find. I don't know. Copyright laws are weird. I think we, I think we just, like, all agree on that. It's like a whole, like, weird can of worms, because then I saw people making the argument of, like, What's the difference between watching a TV show on stream and somebody else's YouTube video? And to be honest, I don't know what the difference is. Other than the fact that the TV shows have all these lawyers and employees and money. And people who make YouTube videos don't have that. Don't see me. They saw me. You look at the jogger just jogging in place like that. What the heck? It looks so weird. And I know people like dog on iPhones a lot and stuff like, oh, Androids are better. Every time I've had an Android phone, I've gotten screwed over in one way or another. Like, I had the note, which we talked about, that, you know, caught on- Well, mine didn't catch on fire, but it could have caught on fire. Got recalled, whatever. Then I had the Sony phone, which just never got an update. Ever. For no reason. Like, it released on an outdated version, just never got updated. That sucked. Uh, and then before that, I had a- A, uh, what was it called? It was a Motorola something. Motorola Droid 2, Droid 3, something like that. And uh, same thing, less than a year after I got it, they stopped supporting it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to challenge the third gym today. I kind of forgot how big of a gap there was between the second and third gym, <laughs> to be honest. And we've kind of just been vibing. Do you know in the Japanese version, they call lasses miniskirts? No, they didn't know that. Like, is that just like a phrase they use in Japan to refer to like a young girl? Just call them a miniskirt? Sounds kind of rude, doesn't it? So we Pokemon, I've been trying this next month thing. It's actually happy. I never tried it. But a lot of times when like, there's like, like, a lot of those Pokemon-inspired games, just... I just don't like them a lot. Remember that game Temtem? Which was, it was like a Pokemon-like game. And people were like, oh, Temtem's like, it's gonna be bigger than Pokemon. Like, people are gonna... Because this was at the time where people were hitting on Sword and Shield. Like, oh, people are gonna stop playing Sword and Shield. What? Where is Temtem now? Like, did that game even fully release? I have no idea. Is it still in beta? Like, what, what happened? There's this one game... I think it was on the Switch, actually. That I saw an ad for, and it was like... It was like 8-bit or 16-bit style, whatever, and it was like a Pokemon-like adventure game where you capture Pokemon, and it actually looked really cool. But I forget what it was called. So, that probably doesn't help you guys. That was gonna be Yokai Watch, apparently that's huge in Japan. Not anymore! Yeah, not anymore. Yokai Watch is not huge in Japan anymore, unfortunately. It was huge in like 2014-2015. I believe Yokai Watch in Japan started in 2013, and I remember first hearing about it in like 2014. Because like that's when it got really big, like it was legitimately rivaling Pokemon in Japan, like that's how big it was. Like, I remember seeing, like, news articles about how, um, in Japanese malls, there would be a line take picture with Pikachu, and a line take pictures with Yokai Watch characters, and the Yokai Watch characters always had, like, so many more people waiting in line. Because it was, it was new, people liked it, it was more popular at the time. And then they brought it worldwide in late 2015, early 2016. I believe it came, I believe the first game came out in America in, like, October, November 2015. And then I think it came out in Europe in like January 2016 or something like that. 
and uh like they had a show a cartoon on disney channel or it was on disney channel in america uh, i believe internationally it was on other channels and like it was like decently popular for a little bit not remotely close to what it was in japan but like it was like you know sustainable i guess uh and then like after the second game came out in late 2016 it just like died i i, I genuinely don't know what happened but it was still popular in japan for a bit and then like as of like 2019 or so it just it kind of died in japan and i think sometime last year or maybe it was even before COVID. It might have been longer than that. Maybe almost over two years. They announced that they're not going to release any Yokai Watch games outside Japan anymore. And then they closed like a few official, like they had Yokai Watch stores in Japan, like they had Pokemon stores. They closed a few Yokai Watch stores, or maybe all of them. The thing with Yokai Watch though is it's it's much more fitted for a Japanese audience because a lot of the Yokai are based off of Japanese folklore. So if you're a Japanese kid who grew up with these tales and you're playing Yokai Watch, you'll know this from when you're a kid. But if you're an American or a European or whatever and you're playing these games, you're like, what? I don't know what this is. It's just a random monster to you. Kind of like how Pokemon is. But the thing is with Pokemon is Pokemon doesn't try to go into the stories of the monsters, so to say. Was a very fun game though. I do really like Yokai Watch. I will say. The first game was great. Second game, I thought second game wasn't that good. <gasps> oh, there we go. That's it. That's fine, chat. This is fine, Copium. Let's go to Nacho. Why didn't I even Nacho? Yo, I had Nachos for lunch today, chat. I had Nachos for most today. And they were so freaking good. What was on them? Oh, I put everything on them. I got chicken, of course. Well, let me just think here. Let's go for Bubble Beam on the Cadabra. I got chicken. I got mushrooms, which is weird. Like, I didn't know that you could get mushrooms on nachos but i just saw the option on the app and was like sure let's do it why not and it was kind of weird but uh, it was still good wait okay i might actually lose a pokemon here hold on why does nacho have half health i just sent it out i recommend healing i can't heal it's a hardcore no oh, actually you're right i should probably just heal <laughs> it's not a hardcore nose like anymore we just heal okay okay nacho got the confusion gonna take out the gyarados it didn't take out the gyarados Wait, this is a rain-boosted waterfall. Hmm. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, it's 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 such low HP. Like, this is fine. This is this is totally fine. You know, I really thought that these were those two psychic trainers that just had like a cadaver or something stupid. But no, they had freaking powerhouses. I mean, this is why people lose Pokemon, not paying attention. I mean, true, you guys distracted me with nachos. Okay, Perry, if you escape out of here alive, I will let you evolve. If I miss though, I die. Goes for Kinesis. I think that increases accuracy or lowers my accuracy. All because I forgot to heal. Remember earlier in the stream when I was like, why do I keep healing? I don't need to heal. And then and then I forget to heal. But Metacham does have... Oh. Delirly Woop. I am going to leave it as a Bidoof on the overlay though. Just so people get annoyed at it. So I think it'll be funny. There you go, Bidoof. You deserved it. Alright, I think that's a good point to end it though, chat. Um, I, I know I've been saying this forever, but I do want to stream more. Like, you know, two to three times a week, maybe four times a week. And have stuff for the extra channel. And hopefully people, and hopefully people from the extra channel like you watching... Come over to the live channel. It's much more fun when it's live. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all later. And bye bye